Hi, Richard Fisk back here again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, here's a tutorial for hand launching and hand catching your drone. This will apply for the Mavic Mini, the Mavic Air 2 and the Mini 2 as well. Um, if you like this sort of thing, I do uh, drone tutorials to get your best out of your drone. And I also do scenic flights here in southern Spain. So if you like this sort of thing, please uh, give the video a like. Leave a comment below, obviously. And more importantly than ever, is to subscribe to my channel so you can press the button below hit the notification bell so when i do the next video you'll be notified when the video comes out so first of all we'll go through the video of why you would need to hand launch your drone i'll go through how to hold the drone safety things etc um, and then i'll show you the two methods to hand launch one being the automated takeoff uh, button and the second version is the uh, coordinated stick uh, where you pull both sticks in, down and uh, towards the centre and that will arm the props. So uh, there's two ways of doing that and after I've done the launch I'll show you how to catch the drone as well. So uh, let's get into the video. So the first thing uh, we need to work out is why we want to hand launch or hand catch your drone. Normally obviously you'd like to take off a nice flat area but that's not always possible. It might be at the beach, it might be very wet on the ground, it might be snow, lots of dust, it might be a lot of gravel or rocks etc. It might be uneven ground, uh, there may even be kids, or dogs, cats, animals around that you don't want to get near the drone uh, to leave it on the ground. Um, even on a flat area of like concrete you can sometimes have concrete bars in there, reinforcement bars, um, and they're going to mess with the uh, compass. So uh, lots of times um, you're going to need to hand launch. Uh, it's not difficult, don't be scared to do it, um, just have to be safe, that's all, that's the main thing. So before you start, the way to hold the drone, what you want to do is hold your hand flat in the palm of your hand and grip it between your two fingers, as you can see here. Uh, with thumb and forefinger like this on a bigger drone like the Mavic Air. Um, and some people have it like really flat, but I find that if you have it flat, it can be quite unstable. So if you hold it in your flat of your hand, but pinch it with your fingers, hold it lightly, that will stop the drone moving around. Safety wise, you need to make sure, that, like today, it's a quite windy day, and so have you back to the wind, so that if uh, the drone does get caught by a gust of wind, as it takes off, it will blow and drift with the wind away from you, as opposed to coming back into your face. And obviously the propellers can be quite dangerous. Hold the drone so it's facing away from you. So as it takes off, all the controls are in the same way, so they're not reversed. If you have it facing the other way, facing towards you, then you panic on the control sticks. It could, you could have them opposite, and that would mean that maybe the drone will fly into you as opposed to away. So if you have it facing away from you all the time, as you take off, all the sticks are the right way around. There's nothing reversed, and it's a lot easier to take off. So normally what you do is you prop the controller in the crock of your arm, press the button, brings up the takeoff, you press and hold that until the green circle completes, that arms the props, and then basically move it away. You'll just sort of give it a gentle push, nudge up and then take your hand away at the same time, it's as easy as that. So that's the first version. Okay, the second way of launching the drone, which I do quite often, is instead of using the uh, automated button, you'll pull the both sticks down and in the center, and that will arm the props. Um, it won't actually take off until you move the joystick on the left and move it upwards. So um, if I get closer, hopefully you can see this. So you'll bring both down and into the center. And as you can see now, the props are going, but it's not going to take off. Not until I push up on the uh, left joystick. So hold the drone level in between your fingers, and just launch it like that. And bring it back. Okay, so that's the two ways of launching your drone, using the automated button and then the uh, combination stick control. Now, when you're coming into land, you have to bear in mind that the, the drone 
will have sensors on the bottom here. These are uh, infrared sensors and also a camera. That's the landing camera. So it will check out the ground to make sure it's safe to actually do a landing. So what you want to do, the idea is, is to place your hand underneath the drone, bring the drone back to you, so fly back, but then you want to rotate it above you and then descend basically on top of your hand. It will sense your hand and uh, the sensor will probably move the drone upwards, but uh, keep the hold of the left joystick down and that will overcome that sensor and it will land gently into your hand. So let's launch again and I'll show you the landing. Okay, so basically you've flown the drone back to you, you turn it around, you hold your hand out underneath it and then press down on the left joystick. Let the drone sense your hand. So for instance, if I, if I bring it down here, if I then move my hand underneath, you can see that the sensor senses my hand, it thinks it's the ground, doesn't, it's not safe to land, so it goes up again. Okay, so place your hand flat underneath the drone. Let it sense you, and then it'll come into land, and then keep hold down on the uh, left joystick, and that will then cancel the motors, and you've got the drone in your hand. So that's how to uh, hand launch and hand catch your drone safely. Um, thanks for watching. Obviously, subscribe, leave a comment, like. It helps uh, the algorithm of the YouTube channel <laughs> and uh, helps the channel grow. So uh, please do that, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.